You can turn in your King James Bible to 1 John chapter 4. We're going to start in verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You're to try the spirits. You listen to preachers or Christian channels or whatever else uh, online, you're supposed to try them. You're supposed to judge them. Uh, verse 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is, notice the word there, is come in the flesh, is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. All right? We need to have a spirit of Antichrist challenge. If a man out there is preaching from a King James Bible, claiming to be a King James Bible believer, be it Stephen Anderson or anybody out there, uh, the Ex-Catholics for Christ, um, Edward Fenninger, Edward PF123, uh, Robert Breaker, Gene Kim, any of these guys, any of you guys out there that are saying that you're a King James Bible believer, I would like you to publicly confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Now let me explain that. All right. Back in the Old Testament, you have a statement that God makes. Moses says to him, he says, you know, who am I supposed to say has sent me? And God says, I am that I am. You see, that is a statement that an eternal God can make. Where were you in the past, God? I am. Where are you in presently right now? I am. Where are you in the future? I am. You see? Same thing is going on here. Jesus Christ is is come in the flesh. You say, well, no, he has. No, 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 no. That's not what the scripture says. It's so important to understand that. An eternal being that had a body of flesh, he is come in the flesh. In the Old Testament, he came in multiple forms. He appeared as the angel of God, an angel of the Lord, also called. He also appeared as Melchizedek, proven, completely proven. It's not Shem or some other kind of nonsense like this. Melchizedek was Jesus. Read Hebrews chapter 6. It clearly identifies Melchizedek as Jesus. So Jesus Christ is come in the flesh in the Old Testament. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh in the New Testament. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh right now. Okay? It's not, well, he's a historical figure that has come in the flesh, that did come in the flesh. No, no. He is in the flesh. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living no matter what men may say. Okay? No matter what they say. I can't got the hymn messed up a little bit there. And what about the future? Jesus Christ is coming in the future. All right? He's in the flesh, you see. There was never a time when Jesus Christ was created and he didn't have a body of flesh before that. That's heresy. That is satanic heresy. In fact, it's the spirit of Antichrist. So, here's the challenge. I already said this in another sermon. I don't think anybody took me up on it. So I'm just going to make a little small video here that just puts out the challenge. If you are a King James Bible believer out there, I would like you to get on camera so that we know that you don't have a spirit of Antichrist. And I would like you to confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Okay? All you new IFB guys, make your video. Okay? All you guys out there, you're using the King James Bible, make a video. All right? And I challenge you, if you're out there and you're a viewer, write to these guys and say, do you confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? Could you please publicly make a video? Not just give me a, oh yes, of course. No, 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 no. Make a video and say, publicly state your name and give your position and say, I, Brian Denlinger, do hereby confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Old Testament, New Testament, present time, and in the future, he is come in the flesh. I don't have a spirit of Antichrist, according to 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. Okay? If you use a new version, well, your new version changes verses 2 and 3 to has come in the flesh. Most of the new versions do. They have a spirit of Antichrist. Therefore, just anybody that's using a new version, cross them out. Nope. Sorry. Spirit of Antichrist. Okay? You say, well, somebody could be saved and just deceived. Yeah, and then the Holy Spirit will get him over to the King James Bible. All right? He did with me. I was a new version user for many, many years. I think 25 years of my life. So don't tell me, oh, well, you know, they could just be deceived. Well, you can be deceived, but then you get saved and the Lord will start to show you things. 
All right. So please, I want people to be able to feel safe here on YouTube and see which preachers have a spirit of Antichrist and which ones don't. All right. Take the challenge. Take the Antichrist spirit challenge. And if not, well, then we pretty much know what uh, spirit you truly have. If you're too big of a coward to stand up and state your name and publicly confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Okay? That's my challenge to you.